Uh, my thesis topic is determinants of bad performance in Nigeria. Now, all over the world, the individuals, firms, and governments are yearning for an increase in their fortunes. And this yearning is more in developing countries than even in the developed countries. And the non satisfaction of which has extensive implications, such as increased migration and increased crime in developing economies, simply because they are yearning for increased. Uh, increased fortunes. And banks are key to the satisfaction of this yearning through their production process. When we talk about the production process, we are referring to their, the bank's ability to, to transform their inputs into outputs. Basic inputs in the banking process is the deposits, which all of us that have accounts with banks, we all have deposits in there, and the ability to transform them into outputs, which are loans. They lend out to firms, to individuals, and to businesses. The efficiency of this transformation of their inputs into outputs will determine their ability to contribute to economic growth and development and the extent of their contribution to economic growth and development. Now, in developing economies, banks have highly significant roles to perform in economic growth and development. And we are looking at Nigeria. Reason why? Because Nigeria is very strategic to Africa in whole. It contributes 80% of the gross domestic product of five English-speaking West African countries and then contributes over 70% of the gross domestic product of 14 West African countries and up to about 20% of the gross domestic product of 48 Sub-Saharan African countries. So a study that would enhance the efficiency of banks in Nigeria would have extensive implications not only for the development of Nigeria or of West Africa, but also of the entire of Sub-Saharan Africa and would be replicated throughout. Now, in the theory on the determinants of bank performance, we can split these this determinants into four different groups. The first group being the company level determinants of bank performance, that is what the banks can do themselves to enhance their performance. The second group, the industry level determinants of bank performance, that is how the banking industry can be best organized by the central banks to enhance the performance of these banks. And then you have the macroeconomic determinants of bank performance, which deals with factors like inflation, how the macroeconomy can best be, fa be fashioned to suit the performance of the banks. Then social political determinants of bank performance, which, is th which goes into things like governmental structures and all the rest. So we are looking at this with the hope of contributing strategically to the development of one developing country and the entire of Sub-Saharan Africa. Thank you very much.